If you look in the documentation, you won't find much about fixed object statistics. But in the upgrade guide, it says that after an upgrade, we strongly recommend that you regather fixed object statistics after you have run a representative workload on your database. So this means that you should never do it right after an upgrade. Why is that? Well, let's see what fixed objects really are. It is those X dollar tables that you find in your database. But they aren't really tables, they are memory structures. And for instance, you can find X dollar BH, which represents the buffer cache. During a database upgrade, the database is restarted multiple times. This also means that the buffer cache is flushed and completely empty. So if you gather fixed object statistics right after the upgrade, you will gather statistics on an empty buffer cache. If you then start to use the database, you will warm up the buffer cache and all of a sudden it might grow and contain a lot of objects. Now the statistics are no longer good. You had statistics on an empty buffer cache and now you have a full buffer cache. That's why it's so important that you only gather fixed object stats on a warmed up database. So take a minute and ask yourself, do you remember this? Do you go back to every database you upgrade after a while and gather fixed object statistics? If not, DBMS scheduler to the rescue. First, you create a SQL script, which creates a scheduler job. That scheduler job will fire in seven days from now, and it'll gather fixed object statistics for you. And you can even set the auto drop property to true so the job is automatically removed when it completes. You can then create a shell script which executes catcon pl and to execute that SQL script in all of your containers. And if you're using auto upgrade, you can use an after action to get auto upgrade to execute the shell script for you. Are there other situations where it might be useful to gather fixed object statistics? Well, after major application upgrades, it can be a good idea for the reasons we discussed with dictionary statistics. When you start to use new functionality in the database, a new component, it's also a good time. New functionality in the database probably have uh, some new supporting memory structures and we need statistics on those. And when you do major database configuration changes, like adding more CPU or increasing the instance memory, it can also be a good idea to gather fixed object statistics. But for all the cases, it is super important that you don't do it on the database immediately after a restart. You have to ensure that the database is warmed up, that you have run a representative workload on the database. So here's a good SQL that you can use to determine whether or not you have good dictionary and fixed object statistics in your database. We will use the view CDB upstart operations and look for operations that are gather fixed object stats, gather dictionary stats where the target is either null being everything or sys and system or schema stats on sys and system. And you can look for the records from the last seven days. This will give you a good overview of the statistics operations in your database and help you to determine whether or not you need to regather some of them. And to show you the effects of having good statistics in your database, this is from a demo we did on a container database with 52 PDBs running on a system with 32 cores. By gathering dictionary and fixed object statistics before the upgrade, auto upgrade didn't have to do it during the downtime and we managed to save 12 minutes of the upgrade runtime. In addition, in our tiny hands-on lab, we compared the database upgrade runtime when we had no statistics and good statistics, and we got a 14% reduction in runtime. And on an Oracle EBS database, the reduction is even bigger because EBS puts in thousands of objects into the database. So by comparing no dictionary and fixed object stats to having the situation where they are good and accurate, there is really a dramatic reduction in the upgrade runtime.
And this is an example of an SQL that is used during a database upgrade. And we compare the situation with no or stale stats and good stats. And as you can see, this is from a real support case. There is a dramatic reduction from almost 10 hours to only a few seconds. And the only thing we changed was to have good and proper dictionary statistics in the database.